Morning. Morning. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, you were out like a light. <laughs> Was Nicholas a good dude? Um, well, let's just say she didn't hold back. Well, Carlos had a great night, too. Good. Right. I suppose I'd better get up and make sure everything's in place for the big day. <clears throat> Right now, every person gets a glass of champagne on arrival, right? As they're greeted by the bride and groom, yes, we know. Yeah, and that all takes place over there. By the entrance, makes sense, Rodney. All right, all right, you may laugh, but I don't know how experienced you lot are at preparing for weddings, do I? Oh, you've been pushed to beat Cathy on that score. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a joke. Right, now, when they're all sat down, you start serving. Top table first. Right. How's the food coming on, Marla? Well... Let's just say that Catherine Zeta-Jones and Michael Douglas will be forever regretful they didn't come knocking at my door. Now that's what I like to hear. Now that was one wedding I'd never believed possible. I can't understand what these beautiful women see in men old and craggy enough to be the fathers. I mean, it's not like he's unattractive or anything, but he's well past his sell-by and she could do better. Uh, Chloe, I think we should, um... It's happening more and more too, isn't it? Have you noticed? Aging womanizers bagging these young dolly birds. Talk about salt. Anyway, as I was saying about the food. Uh, the food, Marlon. Yes, it must just be the money and power thing, you know. Because let's face it, no old codger's going to be up to it in the bedroom department, are they? Right. Well, I'll come back later, see how you're getting on. Uh, keep up with the good work. Something. Oh, Chloe, we tried! Bangers your pair eyes. <laughs> How are you feeling? Full of butterflies? Everything will be fine, Nicola. It's going to be a magical day. That's if everything goes to plan. <sighs> Mum, why do you always have to think so negatively? <laughs> because I've lived, Nicola. It's usually the safest bet. First, we're going to paint your nails. Then, when Diana and Bernice get here, we're going to make a start on your hair. Trust them to be late. I dare say the mother's not even vertical yet, the amount she knocked back last night. This is the one in ten. Yeah. Morning. 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 I hope you realise what a job you've got on with Nicola's hair. She could never get it to do anything. Yes, all right, Mum. Oh, rubbish. It's gorgeous. You know, there are millions of women who'd kill to be a natural blonde. <laughs> well, let's face it, darling, you're certainly not. And from where I'm sitting, I'd say it's not the only thing you've spent money altering. Mum, can you just stop it, please? No, it's all right, Nicola. I always think it pays to invest in your appearance. Certainly stops men from overlooking you and certainly keeps Rodney interested. Nicola, I wonder, could you come and just have me with something upstairs? Well, Louise was just about to make a start on my nails. Oh, that's OK, I can wait. It won't take a sec. I'll help you if you like, Denise. Oh, it's very kind of you, Emily, but I'd really rather consult the bride-to-be. Well, bring whatever it is down here, then, and that way she can help you choose while she's being painted. Honestly, it doesn't take an Einstein. Morning. What time did we go to bed? About two hours ago. How are you feeling? I'm glad of the three pints of water I drank before I hit the sack. Cheers. Are you all right, Bernice? Yeah, of course. Why? You just seem a bit quiet, that's all. Well, actually, Nick, I was wondering if we could have a quick word. Not here, we could go next door. <laughs> Bernice, I'm in the middle of being prepared. Morning. What did I tell you? Hi, Diane. I'll get you a coffee. Oh, if you would. You certainly enjoyed yourself last night. It was a hen night. We can't all sit round with lemon lips and claim to be enjoying ourselves. Well, you made my night for sure, Diane. That floor show you gave was a riot. <laughs> it's not the word I'd use. Thanks, Louise. Yes. My rendition of Like a Virgin never fails to astonish a crowd. <laughs> Before I forget, Nicola, I got you this. It's from one of those arcades you like in Leeds. It's the something new. Oh, Emmy. Um, it's fab, thanks. <laughs> and you'll be needing something old. Let's just hope it brings you more luck than it did me. And for something borrowed, I thought you might like one of my hair slides. Mm. Gorgeous, thanks, Louise. And that just leaves something blue. Well, she had that in spades last night. Jokes Diane were coming out with. Oh, put a sock in it, Maureen. And smile. Here. <laughs> Trust you, Bernice. <laughs> <laughs> the 
There must have been a mix-up at the agency. I never ordered no pig and magician. Yeah, you've got to admit she was good, though. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Seth. He must be getting it well and truly in the ear this morning. Thanks. I thought Betty was going to murder him. <laughs> Dirty old goat. <laughs> so then, will I do? Well, I wouldn't marry you. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling nervous, Carlos? Hey? Oh, can't wait. <laughs> well, stop looking so nervous, then. You're going to make Nicola a very happy girl. It's a very tight-fitting suit for a wedding, Diane. The camera can be very unforgiving. So I'm led to believe. But if you've got it, flaunt it. <laughs> that tent really suits you, Maureen. Is Nicola still with Emily and Louise? Aye, she's getting into a dress, love. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I uh, just... What's wrong, love? All done. Well, will I do? Oh, oh. It's all right, Mum. Don't cry. You look beautiful, Nicola. You look so beautiful. Oh. Carlos is a very lucky man. It's quite tight. Oh. We were just saying, in another few weeks, she wouldn't be able to get into that dress. <laughs> yeah, we were. But I can't wait to start showing. Carlos, you are sure about this, aren't you? Yeah, of course I am. I mean, I know you've got your beliefs in that, but I mean, it's not the only reason that you're doing it. Terry, it? stop it. I love her, we can be happy. Yeah. Yeah, I know you can. Now, I know you two are pregnant, but one little glass of bubbly won't hurt. Bernice? I'm just a small one. Yeah, me too. What's the matter with you this morning, Bernice? You've hardly said two words. She can't get a word in edgeways. I'm fine. I'm... I'm just nervous for Nicola. Well, there's no need, Bernice. I'm doing the right thing marrying Carlos. Of course you are. Of course she is. Honestly, talk about making the bride feel at ease. Oh, for Pete's sake, Maureen. Knock that back and I'll give you a swift refill. Look, I told you yesterday I'm not the bubbly sort. You, you can, can say, say that, that again. again. <laughs> the toast, I think. Come on, Bernice. Mm. Do the honours. She's your little sister. <sighs> to Nicola on her wedding day. May the future bring her happiness and all that she deserves. To Nicola! To Nicola! Nicola. Thank you. Don't forget to signal to me when Nicola arrives. No, no, no. Uh, forget, I mean, no. Oh, no. What well, he done now? And if you start playing out of tune cos you're still half cut, you'll have me to answer for, Seth Armstrong. Give all the woman. Afternoon, Betty. Seth. Reverend, I take it you're fully recovered from last night, unlike this one? Oh, I think I had a couple. Mm, well, the only couple that was on Seth's mind failed to show themselves, I'm very glad to say, but it didn't stop him from sinking umpteen cans, did it? Go on, get in there. Get that organ warmed up. No. <laughs> Afternoon, everyone. Hello, Ashley. Lovely day for it, isn't it? Delightful. Right, well, see you later then. Enjoy it. Hopefully, it'll be your first and last time, so you might as well. <laughs> it'll be fine, sweetheart. You're not leaving me to wait here on my own for my dad, are you? No, it's all right. I'll wait with you. Oh, right. Thanks, sis. Trust him to be late. Yeah. Now, now, Diane. Only by a minute. See you later. Thanks. I'll be waiting at the back of the church. I'm getting really nervous now. <laughs> now, go on. All of you, off you go. Go on. And you, Emily. Meet you all outside the church. Bye. Nicola, we need to talk. What about? Oh, does my makeup look awful? Look, forget your makeup. You told me something terrible last night. You do remember what you said, don't you? You've not told anyone, have you? No, of course I haven't. But I think Carlos needs to know. He's got a right to know. Benice, it's too late now. We're getting married in case you hadn't noticed. You're forcing him into this under false pretenses. You're not really pregnant. Carlos loves me. Yes, but that's not the reason he proposed to you. You told him you were pregnant and you're not. Why did you do it, Nicola? It's a terrible lie. Oh, shh, my dad'll be here in a sec. Carlos needs to know. Why? I'm probably pregnant for real by now, so what does it matter? Look, you don't know that, and anyway, it's not the issue. You've lied to him in the worst possible way. Oh, stop it, Benice. This is not the time or the place. 
Blimey, if I'd have known you were going to react like this, I'd never have told you. You're my sister. I'd like to think we can share anything. Now, please, for my sake and Carlos, just keep it to yourself. It'll all turn out fine. Carlos, I'm tied. Oh, my beautiful princess. You, you look a million dollars. Oh, thanks, Dad. I am so proud of you. Doesn't she look beautiful, Bernice? Yeah, she does. Gorgeous. Oh, Is everything okay? Running like clockwork. Shall we go in? Oh, I've got to wait for Nicola. Um, I hope nobody's taking the front pew on the bride's side. It is supposed to be reserved for family. Be you not, Maureen, I'm sure no one would dream of moving into your seat. So come on then. Who's winning on the insult, sir or me? Oh, I'd say you're a good round ahead of us overall. You say all the right things, in spite of having terrible taste in the pillars. It's zero. <laughs> You don't think Carlos will change his mind? Of course not. Him and Terry left ages ago. You excited? Can't wait. <laughs> Afternoon, how are you? Alright. Afternoon, Bernice. Obviously, don't have to ask you if you're bride or groom. Did Rodney turn up okay? Yeah, yeah, just after you left. Is Nicola alright? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. Uh, look, will you excuse me a minute? There's uh, someone I. something I need to. Uh, that Terry lost the ring and she's just found <laughs> it. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Look, you two can wait inside if you like. I think everybody's here. I mean, as long as you tell us. Yes, when I'll tell you when my dad and Nicola turns up. Don't you worry about that. Here she comes. Fine, everyone's here now, I think. Oh, good. Shall we get inside yeah. then? And Dad, would it be all right if I had a couple of minutes with Nicola? Ah, some last minute words of wisdom from your big sister, eh? <laughs> but there isn't time. Oh, we got bags of time. Go on, go ahead. I'll wait inside for you. <laughs> well, Nicola, you can't do this. No sign of Charity or Letitia, then? Probably still out for the count. I've met that sort before. They only came last night because there was free booze. So, which one's Carlos's mum and dad, then? They're not here, Bet. They're on a cruise. Only Nicola didn't want to delay the wedding any further. You'd have thought she wouldn't mind waiting a couple of weeks. Not when it's a shotgun job, love. <laughs> he doesn't need to know. If you don't tell him, I will. Bernice, just keep out of it. I know what I'm doing. What difference does it make? Bernice! Is everything all right? Just stay there, Dad, OK? for a 
sec. What's going on? Please, Nicola wants to talk to you. Don't tell me she's changed her mind. Well, it'll be two seconds. Very strange. Do you reckon everything's okay? Go inside, Dad. Honest, it's just a last minute chat. Why is Benny's in the church? Just leave then? it, Dad. It's nothing. Go and tell Ashley when you leave Eddie, please. Please. Okay. Is everything all right? They're fine, Dad. We'll see you inside in a sec. Hey. What's all this? We're going to be late. Huh. Go on, tell him. What? Maybe I should go and find out what the problem is. No, no, Ashley, you're better off stopping here. Trust me, it's best that way. Terry, do you think something's wrong? No. No, I'll be fine. I hope so. They spent a fortune on the reception. Marlon. <sighs> Two minutes. Yeah, just a few last-minute nerves. <laughs> Won't be long. <sighs> Wish I'd had last-minute nerves before I married him. <laughs> Might have changed my mind. But then you wouldn't have Nicola. Oh, yes, she would. You were already pregnant too, weren't you, Maureen? I hope everything's all right. Yeah, of course it is, love. It's like Rodney said, it's, it's just the jitters. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Benice? It's his right. He's about to marry you and you've lied to him. Have you? No, not really. Benice is just being silly. Tell him now or I do. I'm not really pregnant. You're not pregnant? Well, I could be by now. In fact, it's practically inevitable. No, it's not, Nicola. She wasn't pregnant when you agreed to marry her, and she's got no idea whether she is now. Why did you have to interfere? Well, why would you make something up like that, more? Like, What on earth did you think you were doing? You and Emily thought I was pregnant, and it just seemed best to go along with it. What? So I could go through hell while you threatened to get rid of it? Or so I'd feel obliged to marry you once I'd convinced you to keep it? I don't know why you're so angry. And you? I'd have thought you'd want me to be happy today. You're my sister. It's not fair, Nicola, what you're doing. It's not fair on Carlos, no matter what you were hoping to achieve. I only said it because I didn't want to let you down. You seem so keen to be a father. I nearly married you. Nearly went ahead with something I didn't want because of a lie. You love me. It's not you I love, Nicola. I'm sorry, but it isn't. I gave up the idea of one baby for another, all because it was in a sick head. No, stop it, Carlos. This isn't the time or the place. You gave up the idea of what baby? It's not me you love, so who do you love then? Well? I don't believe it. Her? My sister? I'm so sorry, Nicola. It's all over now. It's in the past. Oh, past. Before you knew me, or more recent. Whilst I was seeing you. Carlos, don't. Why not? But Ashley... It's all starting to make sense now. I can't believe it, but it makes sense. You cow. This has gone on long enough. What are they doing out there? Mr Blackstock, maybe it's best if none of us get involved. You've been having an affair behind my back! Behind Ashley's back! My own sister! Nicola, please! It ended ages ago! And anyway, it's not the issue! Not the issue! Carlos! She's gonna tell Ashley! Nicola, wait! Ashley mustn't find out. It's history! Like hell it is. Why should you be allowed a secret when I'm not? Keep her here. I'll go and tell Ashley the wedding's oh, off. Too right it is! <laughs> Carlos, what is going on? Please don't do this. Why should you get away with it, Nicola? The hell's going on? What the hell's going on? You're walking me down the aisle, of course. Well, there's no problem. Not out here, no. Come on. <sighs> About time, too. <laughs> Denise? You go on ahead. Uh, I'm just coming. You all right, mate? Oh, 
Oh, she looks beautiful. Chef! Nicola? Oh, no. Nicola, is everything all right? Not for you and me, it isn't, no. Nicola, not here. Nicky, what do you think you're playing at? Can you shut that thing up, Seth? Thank you all for coming here today. Including you. And you. Oh, no. I expect you're all wondering why the bride-to-be is standing out front making an announcement. Well, five minutes ago I'd have wondered myself. Because five minutes ago I didn't know what I'd do now. You see, Carlos, my husband-to-be, has just informed me that he's not actually in love with me at all. Oh, no. He's in love with somebody else. Been having an affair with her, even. Nicola, don't do this. Please. My sister, Benice. They've been seeing each other all along behind mine and Ashley's backs. So the wedding's off. I'm sorry we kept you waiting. <laughs> <laughs>